Buddy Scout Crafty here again. Have another nice pair of fencing pliers to tackle today. So let's get down to the shop and get started. Real quick bonus project today. Um, we have these staple pullers. Again, like a fencing tool. It's got a little hammer here, a little hammer here, cutter here, two cutters here, uh, two jaws, sets of jaws on each side. Real nice piece. The problem is, got a little chip over here where it broke off. And uh, we have a little chip here on the tooth on this side. You can see how I think this it was the same as this way. What we're going to do is make these just a quick display. We're not going to do anything crazy, but there is some nice knurling over here. I want to make this a display piece that if somebody just wanted to see. This is the heaviest plier I've ever held. This thing weighs, uh, I'll weigh it later. So let's get started. Okay, first off, we soaked this wrench for a couple hours in vinegar just to get it clean. Then, of course, afterwards, we had to do a baking soda soak just to get neutralize the acid. At, uh, after that, we take it over to the wire brush. We use first the big wire brush, then the small wire brush to get into the smaller areas. After that, we wipe the entire wrench down with denatured alcohol. And then after that, we coat it with a nice coating of shellac. And that's all we did to it. And uh, you remember what the wrench looked like before we started. We're calling this project finished. Uh, you can see how this came out. Again, um, look at the beautiful knurling pattern they had that they forged in there. Uh, you can see all the forging marks. We didn't polish anything. This doesn't warrant something like that. Uh, these were affectionately known as Cronks. These pliers were so popular back in the day. It was named after William Cronk, who invented them or patented them in 1898. And uh, again, these were multi multitasking fencing pliers that had two hammerheads, two jaws for pliers that work as pliers, you could see, and it had three sets of cutters, one, two, and three. On this side, this little clamping area that had a small section, that was made for pulling staples. Worked really well, and um, I'll give you a demonstration of how this worked, but again, they were really popular, and uh, William Crunk was the uh, now traditionally if you were going to do any fencing you would bring a hammer along these were mostly mostly designed for emergency repairs however uh, did have enough heft at almost two pounds this tool weighs to bang in a staple if you had to and you could bang the staple in and and cover your wire that way now uh, another feature that this had was once the staple is in if you tried to use a claw hammer to take that out you'd be there all day but you could see this little section here, those little clamps and with that hole, clips around the staple like this. And then using the tip of the pliers when you, were pro you have a fulcrum, that easily allows the staple to be pulled out. And that was a real uh, innovation back then. And you could easily pull out staples, bang them in, and then you had the cutter. Problem. Now some more nice features about these cronk pliers is you could see there's three sets of cutters. There's one up here, and two side cutters. Uh, because of the extended handles, you had a nice leverage on here so that when you put the wire in here, the fence wire, you had no problem cutting that way. Uh, you could put in here, cut one side or the other. Again, all backups, uh, redundant cutters that if one get dull, but this tool is over 100 years old and still performs flawlessly. So in closing, if ever you come across a pair of these cronk pliers, you might want to pick them up, add to your collection. Again, like at almost two pounds, they're really substantial. Nice tool, nicely made. This is just coated with shellac. There's nothing really crazy over the top done, but uh, really enjoyed this restoration. Hope you did too. Thanks very much for tuning in. Take care and have a nice day.